When does a boy become a man? Ask anyone and you will receive a variety of responses. Many believe one's masculinity is proven through having sexual experiences and domination. Can a loving mother, a woman, instruct and lead her boy into manhood? A mother can't adequately usher a boy into manhood. A mother does not willingly release the bond she has with her little boy, though he has already become a teenager or older. As boys biologically, emotionally, and spiritually reach the adult stage, they do not look to their mothers or other women to affirm them, but they desire the affirmation from the other older boys in the hood or older men. Unfortunately, boys have been getting the wrong message from the wrong sources. Existing around the world are a variety of rituals by which boys are acknowledged as men. In these ceremonies, boys go through various tests to determine their readiness to accept their masculine adult responsibilities. After the ceremony, the boys are pronounced by the mature men of the community, the elders, as having reached the level of manhood. These rituals have the result in building the self-esteem of these young men, affirming their masculinity and charging them to live responsibly as men in their communities and homes. The rite of passage in many African tribes beautifully illustrates the transition, though abrupt for many in Western cultures, from boyhood to manhood. In one such tribe, the father lives in his own home while the mother lives with her children in a separate home. When the community recognizes a boy is ready to become a man, they gather outside the mother's home, unbeknownst to her, in the dark of night. The men of the community yell out for the boy. We have come for your son, they scream. The mother, clinging on to her little boy, tells them, No, you cannot have my little boy. The father approaches the home, men still calling for the boy, and knocks on the door. I have come for my son, he demands. The boy, still clutching to his mother, nervous about the whole situation, cautiously makes his way out of the door. Great cheering erupts from the men of the community. The boy has taken his first steps to becoming a man. After his rite of passage ceremony, the boy, now a man, is taken as an apprentice with his father and begins to construct his own home. He is given a plot of the community's land to tend for himself. He is now a contributing member of his people's survival. He is now a man. And we're going to be welcoming our sons into manhood as they uh, reach the teenage years. We're going to leave them out here and hopefully uh, they survive. Okay, we already reached the teenage years.